Is it possible for love to be perfect? In the last part, we witnessed a whirlwind of emotions and a shocking revelation. But before we delve into that, let's rewind a bit. We're at an engagement party, the air filled with laughter, whispers, and the clinking of champagne glasses. Greta, the star of the evening, is chatting with Max, her eyes sparkling brighter than the diamond on her finger. I think that's the best thing, she says, her words swallowed by the hum of the party. In another corner, two guests are engaged in a hushed conversation. She's such a dazzling supermodel, they're literally made for each other, says one. Greta's so talented, she could have been a famous designer if Ada hadn't ripped off her ideas, adds another. Just then, the room grows a tad bit quieter, all eyes shift to the entrance. Ada, the infamous fashion mogul, has made her entrance. Greta, with a smirk, greets her. Ada, hi, I didn't think you were going to show up, I thought that would be too embarrassing. Ada doesn't mince her words. She demands her mother's necklace back, promising to leave as soon as she has it. Liam Prescott, Ada's father, watches the exchange with a grimace. Greta, feigning innocence, hands over the necklace. But in an unexpected turn of events, she breaks the pearl necklace, scattering the precious gems on the floor. As Ada kneels to collect the pearls, Greta taunts her. No, Ada, leave it, it's fine, it's just garbage like its last owner. And so, we leave you wondering what will Ada's next move be? Will she retaliate or take the high road? In the next part, prepare to witness a twist that you wouldn't see coming. The drama unfolds and the stakes get higher. Who will have the last laugh in this game of love and revenge? Remember, in the pursuit of perfect love, everything is fair.